Breaking news. Stop demonizing Buhari over Boko Haram, Shatima tells President's critics. Former governor of Burnley State, Senator Kashim Shatima, Thursday asked critics of President Muhammadu Buhari to stop demonizing him over the Boko Haram insurgency in the North East region. Shatima, who represents Burnu South Senatorial District, described as unnecessary and uncalled for the usual accusation by critics of President Muhammadu Buhari that he has not been able to curb terrorist attacks in the country. According to him, President Muhammadu Buhari has done enough security-wise for the Northeast, especially with most of the service chiefs hailing from the geopolitical zone. The former governor of Bonu State said, The president needs to be commended for what he has done for the Northeast region and Borno State in particular. He was instrumental to the establishment of the Northeast Development Commission. If we are going to apportion blames, we should be fair to this poor old man. He said he declined from making comments for some time because he believed insecurity problems won't, solve, won't be solved by blame game. On Buhari's visit to the state, Shatima said what transpired in Meduguri last Wednesday was unfortunate, adding that although there is crisis in this region, the zone will definitely regain its lost glory. The senator stressed that what happened in Meduguri on Wednesday was very unfortunate, but mind you, Buhari has done extremely well for the people of Bono State and the Northeast as a whole. I want to reiterate that position. Yes, we have challenges, but no matter how long the night is, it will surely give way to dawn. Stormy, stormy the weather might well be, but it will not rain forever. Certainly, we have reached the peak in our crisis, and we are going to bounce back as a people. The people of the state love Buhari. Maybe their expectations were over-exaggerated. People thought he had the magic wand. However, he doesn't have one, but I believe it is a temporary hiccup. The people of the state and the northeast region in general still passionately love Buhari. Without the cooperation of the people of the state, the, civil, the civilian JTF could not have come into being. He, had, he added that the government and people of Bonu State are fully behind the president and are fully in support of members of our security establishment who have lost their lives while serving the country. So I doubt very much if the president blamed the people of Bonu State or the Bonu elites, he might have made a general statement on the need for people to align themselves with the aspiration for the restoration of peace in the Northeast, but I doubt it if the president blamed the people of the state, Shatima added. So people, good morning and um, welcome to Peak Network. Um, if you haven't subscribed, please do subscribe. And for all those that have subscribed, thank you very much. We do appreciate. Also press the notification button so you can get the latest news. Yes, my people. So this is what is coming out of the mouth of um, the former president, um, governor, um, Shatima. This is unbelievable. Now, let's start from the top. So, the level of insecurity in this country is alarming. And here is a former president of Borno State. We know what happened, the insurgency in Borno State. We don't want to go into that this morning. But, this former president opened his mouth to say um, we, um, the, the president critics shouldn't demonize him. 
Who is trying to demonize who here? Buhari has not lived up to expectation or the expectations of Nigerians. The country is in a chaos at the moment. At the moment. Security is, is nowhere to be found. Everyone is afraid of their lives in this country, Nigeria. And this Mr. Shetim, Shetima comes out to say that um, we shouldn't criticize Buhari. Well, we are not here to criticize Buhari, but we're just here to say the truth. And the truth must be said because the truth should be universal. Buhari has not lived up to the expectation of being a president, of being the sitting president of Nigeria. Yes, quite enough, we voted at some point for him, but obviously he hasn't met the expectations because the first thing that every country of the world looks at is the security of its citizens. The security of the lives and property of its citizens. So I don't understand what um, President, uh, this uh, former governor, Mr. S um, Senator Kashim Shatima, is talking about. We saw what happened. If, if, if everything he said that, oh, Buhari has done very well. He said he's done very well in the Northeast. Really? Really? On top of the killings that we had a um, couple of days ago, he's done very well. Everywhere killings, everywhere Look at the ones in, in, in Meduguri Kanu, Kaduna, Abiyakuta. What are you talking about? What are you talking about? And you said the, God, the, the president has done very well. Lord, we need to, in Nigeria, speak the truth. The truth, it's, it, it doesn't look good, but it stands and it's sure. The, and that's the result that Buhari has seen, even in Meduguri. He says, oh, the, uh, the, people, the, the people thought that um, President Muhammad, who had the, uh, Muhammad Buhari had a magic wand. No, nobody is saying here that he's got a magic wand. But there are expectations. There is a job description for our sitting president. And if that is not met, unfortunately, he's not meant to be there. So, I don't know what this, um, this senator is saying. But it's really appalling. Nigerians, let us open our eyes. Let us see what is happening. I mean, this, anyway, this is a med medicine after death. So he's just coming out to try to, um, to, try to exonerate or to try to um, ameliorate issues, you see. But already the damage has been done. The damage has been done. The people are tired. Even the people of Meduguri are tired. The North, they are tired of President Muhammad Buhari. Truth be said. The Boko Haram insurgency in the country is just unbelievable. The bandit killings is just unbelievable. We don't even know who rules the country anymore, whether it's Boko Haram or it's President Muhammad Buhari, to be honest. To be honest. So, um, Mr. Shatima, yes, uh, we know how it works, you know. But when you come out to the public like this to speak, you had better spoke the truth. You had better tell people the truth. And Nigerians, this is the cry of Nigerians. The voice of the people is supposed to be the voice of the government. But obviously, it's not. So, um, once again, Mr. Um, uh, Mr. President Muhammad Buhari, we are still and we wouldn't stop. If you think we would stop, if you think by, say, by having these guys say these things, we wouldn't stop. Even as a media outlet, even as Nigerians, we wouldn't stop. We would keep hammering on security in Nigeria. You see, these sort of people that say things like this, obviously, um, it hasn't touched their family yet. Because if it has touched your family, if Boko Haram has killed one of your, of your family members, you wouldn't be talking in this respect. So again, Mr. Mohammed Buhari, we are telling you, we are saying, the masses are still saying that we need to be sure of security in this country. In this country, we need to be sure of security. If the, if the paramount thing, security of life and property, cannot be upheld by your government, then the government should be sacked, unfortunately. And that is the cry of Nigeria at the minute. And that's why you're seeing different calls from different groups for uh, Buhari's resignation. And at this point in time, I also think that more has to be done for security in this country. 
I don't agree with um, Senator Kashim Shatima to say Buhari has done very um, and much. Even um, the the north, uh, the, especially the northeast um, service chief hailing hailing from the geopolitical zone. I don't understand what you guys are saying, please. Please, once again, we need security in our country. And if the president cannot make us secure, then it's high time we started agitating for another government. Thank you very much. Once again, if you haven't subscribed, please do subscribe to us. Uh, we'll give you the, the news as soon as they come to us. And also, just to make Nigerians abreast of what is going on in the country, uh, please do subscribe to us and um, click the notification bell so as we get the news, you get them first hand. Thank you very much. Bye.